Terry Bussey, the 15th ranked player in the nation, the number two player in the talent rich state of Texas. Well, now he is staying near home about three hours down the road, picking the Aggies earlier today. Let's continue the conversation about the number one athlete in the class of 2024 and welcome in Smoke Dixon here to break down some of Terry Bussey's film. Smoke, we usually assign a guy a position, but in this case, he's just the number one athlete. What do you think that means? Well, when I hear athlete, I hear a dynamic, explosive playmaker with the ball in his hand. And the special teams coordinator, defensive coordinator, and the offensive coordinator all want him to play on their side of the ball. Let's get to the first play. This first play is Bussy's in the middle of the field, and he's going to see him come off the field, come off the hash, and high point the ball, which is a difficult play to do, and finish with the ball in his hand, and also with the ability to score. Run the tape. See him locate the ball, gather high point, and now put foot in ground with the ability to score. Next play. Now this is unconventional, it's, but it's the same thing as you see Terry going up. High pointing it with the ability to finish with the ball of the rim. Next, we're going to go to basketball explosiveness, right? When you talk about explosiveness, this is the ability to put foot in the ground, get vertical, and finish with a dunk. Next play. Football, same thing, being ability to come to get, gather your balance, put foot in the ground, accelerate, score, but now you're going to see the speed as he spins off and hurdle the guy. Now separates, gives 10 yards burst, and score with the ball in the end zone. Dynamic football player with the ball in the end zone. love that you're showing those basketball highlights. Our scouting guys talk about how much they use that film to evaluate some of these players. And you're going to show us another one because I want to see what this guy can do on offense. Well, on offense, when you look at it, he's going to play receiver. When you're a receiver, there's three things that I need you to do. Separate, catch the ball, create plays with the ball in your hand, but also have the speed to score and put the ball in the end zone. First thing that we're going to do is look at him on the basketball court. As you see him get in a good athletic position, crossover, that's now showing you the ability to create space in a tight confined space with the ability with ball, balance, and body control to finish at the rim. Next clip. Same thing as you see on the football field. Gets in a confined space. Left foot in the ground, right foot in the ground, gathers an explosiveness with a burst and speed. And again, watch him separate with speed and score with the ball in the end zone. Next thing we talk about, we talk about balance and body control. That's the ability to take a hit, regain your strength, regain your balance, and also spin off like he's doing right here, running through two defenders. And again, what he does well is score with the ball in his hands. Next clip. Same thing that we talked about. Run after the catch ability. The ability to, to create plays when there aren't plays that's going to be there. Your ability to catch the ball, square up, Create plays, put your foot in the ground, and also score with an explosive movement. Yeah, Smoke, you said that all these uh, coordinators are going to be fighting over his services. So how can a defensive coordinator use Terry Bussey? Well, on defense, as he plays corner, you already saw his ability to run. Explosive, contact balance, quickness in confined space, all ability to cover. But the thing that separates Terry from most defenders is the ability to catch the football, but also shows you that even if I play offense, I got some toughness. Here goes the toughness play. Play the clip. Middle of the field safety. You're going to see him come through, explode, and just pay attention now. Helmets are going to roll. Body's going to be on the ground. Next clip. We talked about his ability to go up and high point and finish with the ball in his hands. Here he goes. Locate the ball again. High point like you just saw in the basketball film and be able to finish with the ball in his hand and getting that ball back to the defensive coordinator. Next play that you want to look at is, is a corner. As a cornerback, we all get in the confined position of we have a guy in our blind spot. What Terry does a pretty good job of, and he has a natural instincts and awareness, he plays with guys in his blind spot, but he still has the ability to go up, calm, collective, go up and intercept the football. Next clip. Now this is one of the most incredible plays I've seen. He's in the middle of the field, he comes off, locates the ball, goes up, high points it, knocks the guy out, but again, he finishes with the ball in his hand. Again, a DB that can catch the ball, run after the catch, but also has contact courage to run through people. It's also a good defender. 
Love to see highlights uh, just as much as the next person. We show a lot of highlights on this show, but uh, we got to talk about the other stuff, and that's his weaknesses. Where is some room for improvement and just some of the knocks that you might get from Terry Bussey? Well, can improve your size. He's an undersized guy on offense and defense, but again, he plays big. He always plays high. In basketball, you see him play above the rim. In football, you see him go up in high point plays. But his size, he's an undersized guy, he's a 5'10", so that's one of his weaknesses. Next clip. He's a, he's a positionless player. So again, he hasn't worked on his craft. And he's not going to be able to go in there and say, okay, I played DB for 15 games. I played receiver for 15 games. So he's a positionless player. So he's going into a building, not knowing what room to go in. As a receiver, being able to be available, understanding coverages, is a safety in the middle of the field, a safety on the both of the hash. You gotta understand to be able to read coverages and get open. Eye discipline. Eye discipline has a lot to do with the next clip is tackling. You've seen him just run through a guy, but not have the vision and the ability to get his eyes on that target, finish up, and wrap. And as we get to this clip, we saw this earlier for his toughness. You saw toughness and courage, which tackling has to do with 90% courage, 10% Eye discipline and finishing. He runs through the guy, but he only runs through him with his eyes closed. He doesn't finish up, wrap the guy up, and finish with a tackle on the ground. Good stuff. Thank you, Smoke. 247sports.com is the place for all things college football and recruiting. For more exclusive information, become a VIP member. <laughs>